Today, we test the limits of Bowser's Fury modding by making Bowser smaller than normal. Here's a comparison between Bowser at his regular size and Bowser at half of his regular size. And even at half of his regular size, Bowser still does look pretty big. Bowser's fire breath attack normally breaks these fury blocks and reveals some steps that you can use to collect this cat shine. But this Bowser is smaller now and you can safely stand here without getting burned by the fire. You can jump up and dive to get the cat shine, and our half-sized Bowser is scared away by the light of the lighthouse, leaving waves that are just as big as the normal Bowser when he leaves. And at Lake Lapcat, I also made the Bowser shell in the middle of the lake half the size, but it still does look pretty big. I had to compare this to the regular-sized Bowser shell just to see how much smaller it got. And when the battle with Bowser begins, I made it so you face a half-sized Bowser. At first, he doesn't look too small, but you can tell that Bowser's looking a little small next to Mario here. The battle continues, and Mario is able to take out this half-sized Bowser without much difficulty. Let's bring Bowser's size down to one quarter his normal size. I wanted to have a peek over at Bowser from here before we went to the ship and woke him up, and for a moment I thought he was missing. From some angles you can't see him because he's hidden behind the spikes, and Bowser blends in pretty well with the background here. He's definitely a lot easier to see when he's full sized. When the lightning strikes and you see Bowser stretch his arms out and he roars, you can tell that he's getting a lot smaller now. Bowser is looking a lot less intimidating when he's this small. We see some weird vertical red lines above Bowser that look out of place because Bowser is shrunken down right now. You can get the cat shine still, and seeing this little Bowser run away when the lighthouse shines on him looks really funny to me. I enjoy this scene. Once you get to Lake Lapcat in the main game, you can see the little Bowser shell in the distance looking a lot smaller than normal. The shell starts to work its way up over time, and since the shell is scaled down to be smaller, it also doesn't reach as high as it normally does before Bowser spawns. When the shell is almost ready to burst, you can really tell that this shell is much smaller than normal. And when we battle with this small Bowser, it's becoming more and more obvious that Bowser is getting made smaller and smaller. Here is Bowser at 10% of his normal size. I'm trying to take a peek at him before we go wake him up at the boat, but I can't tell if we can see him or not. I can't tell if those are just spikes or if that's actually Bowser in the background there. And now we head onto the boat, lightning strikes, and Bowser wakes up. That is a big roar from a little Koopa. Bowser is getting so small that it's getting difficult to see him. This Bowser is like those small letters that you'd see near the bottom row of a vision test. And my goodness, the size of the fireballs that come out of Bowser are huge compared to the size of Bowser. Where is that fire coming from? Bowser's just chilling in the lake now. Normally, he's a lot bigger and it looks like just his feet are in the water, but since he's shrunken down so small, the water is looking a little deep for him here. We still have these weird red lines up here that are normally supposed to be part of Bowser. We're just standing right here, hoping to be safe. Mario isn't intimidated by this little Bowser. Mario stands up by the cat shine, and the fire breath from Bowser still doesn't reach him here. Mario is still safe because Bowser's shooting fire from way down there. Mario gets the cat shine, the lighthouse lights up, and little Bowser stomps around, making some really big splashes, and he runs away. For now. And here's Bowser's shell at Lake Lapcat when you're at 10% of the normal size. During this battle, when Bowser is 10 times as small as normal, we see the opening cutscene with Giga Cat Mario. The camera pans over to Bowser. Wait, where's Bowser? He's so small during this entire fight that during many of the scenes with him, it's difficult to actually see him. When he jumps around, sometimes we can see him peeking out of the water. And when he does his attack when he drops down from the sky to attack you, He's so small that the water covers him up when he lands. Next, let's shrink down Bowser to 1% of his regular size and let's see if we are still able to see him. We head onto the boat, lightning strikes, but you can't really see Bowser because he's so small. When the lightning strikes, there's a little speck of darkness that you can see near the surface here, and I'm wondering if this is the fearsome Bowser and his fury that we are seeing here. We see some vertical red lines floating in the air still, just like before for the other larger Bowsers. A huge beam of fire is shot out of the lake. Bowser is so small that we can't see him when he's shooting fire, so it looks like he's hiding under the water and shooting fire at us from down there. As dangerous as it might look to stand here, 
This is a safe place for us to stand. The fire doesn't reach us if we stand here because Bowser is so low and he's shooting at us from such a strange angle. Since you can't really see Bowser because he's so small, it looks like fireballs are being shot out of the surface of the water. The red colors that are normally around Bowser are just sitting on the surface of the water and the flames are larger than Bowser himself. Once you get the cat shine, you can just barely make out a little tiny Bowser in the background here. You can see his little hair slightly, but he's so small that it's really easy to miss him in this cutscene. At 1% of its regular size, you can't really see the shell at the center of Lake Labcat, but you can see all of the dark energy and goop spinning around the shell as the Bowser phase is about to begin. When the battle starts against a Bowser that is 100 times as small as normal, here's what we see. I also made sure to raise up Bowser a little bit because otherwise the water would completely cover him. At first I was thinking, where's Bowser? All I can see is his health bar, but I don't actually see Bowser himself. And for a lot of the battle, I wasn't able to see Bowser at all. I was thinking that maybe he was too small to see and we might have passed the limit of making Bowser small. But then something special happened. When Bowser did his falling from the sky attack, I made him land somewhere up high. And after that, you can actually see little Bowser on the island. Mario is still huge because he used the Giga Bell, but Bowser right now is about as small as Mario is before Mario uses the Giga Bell. Bowser is tiny, and you really have to zoom in to see it, but there's our furious Bowser, shrunken down many, many times smaller than Mario, and Bowser is 100 times as small as normal right now. I tried making Bowser 1000 times as small as normal and using my zero gravity mod to try to get close to him, but at this point, I couldn't see anything at all. Eventually, I reached an area with a big shadow where I took damage if I got too close, and I realized that this is where Bowser normally is, and I'm taking damage because I'm getting too close to Bowser's hitbox. So the tiny Bowser is somewhere in there, but it must be too small for me to see. If there's one thing I learned from making this video, it's that Bowser's large size is a big factor in what makes him so intimidating in this game. If you're interested in seeing more of what's possible in games through both regular gameplay and hacking, in this video we obviously did a lot of hacking, you're welcome to subscribe if you'd like to be notified of new videos when they come out, and you're welcome to check out the rest of my content on my channel, you might find some videos that you enjoy. So thank you so much for watching this video, wishing all of you a fantastic day, and take care everybody!